it would be so cool if we can recreate this 25 years after the original Jurassic Park came out. So, being a huge fan of Jurassic Park, uh, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I've built the night vision goggles to match the screen use prop. They actually work and wind out and light up and everything. Check out that video down below if you haven't seen it. Also, I managed to recreate the embryo cryo can shell in a way that was screen accurate to the 1992 Barbasol can. If you haven't seen that video, that's down below. But today, I want to focus on a scene that I really, really like and really stands out for me. And that's where the glass of water vibrates on the dashboard of the car. As the T-Rex approaches, the footfalls actually cause vibrations sort of like mini earthquakes through the ground and actually make the water vibrate with these sort of concentric circles that come out from the middle. Me being me, I had to identify exactly what those glasses were and I think I found them here. These are embellished plastic tumblers for whiskey uh, they're nine ounce. Yeah, you can still buy these. Here's one out of the packet. Uh, it has the correct angle, just like the glass we see in the film. It's actually made from a very thin plastic. They're very brittle. If you drop one, it shatters really easily. I don't know if that's because these are maybe 20 years old or whether UV damage has made these very brittle, but yeah, uh, they kind of drop them and they're gone, which is interesting. Uh, but me being me, I wasn't satisfied with just knowing uh, what the glasses were actually made from. I wanted to actually replicate the effect that we see in the film. So I actually want to create the concentric ripples as the T-Rex puts its feet down. I want to create that effect. So while I was making my night vision goggles, I had the pleasure of contacting Michael Lantieri, who actually led the team that did a lot of the physical effects for Jurassic Park. And one of the things we got talking about was this particular effect. Now, if you've seen the making of Jurassic Park, you'll know that the way he achieved the effect was actually with a guitar string. Uh, the story goes that Steven Spielberg asked him to create the ripples of water in the glass. He couldn't work it out for ages. He went to lots of scientists, he went to all sorts of experts trying to work out how to make these concentric circles. Like a few nights before the shoot or a night before the shoot, he put a glass of water on his guitar, plucked a string, and it did exactly what he required it to. It turns out that he actually ran a guitar string through the body of the car into the glass, and that's how they achieved the effect on the film. Well, I had a few questions about that, obviously, because I want to achieve the same effect. He told me not only the guitar string used, but also the fact that they used a threaded turnbuckle, which is a piece of hardware, um, essentially to tune the guitar strings. The more you twist it, the tighter it gets. So essentially you can use it as a way of tuning uh, the string for the effect. So when I made the night vision goggles, my wife got me this book and it says Dave's Pottering Projects. Inside the front cover, I actually have a sketch that I made of the lens mechanism for the night vision goggles, just so I could work it out in my head. And uh, on the second page is the plan for this. You can see at the bottom, I've got a wooden block. Um, at the bottom, I've got a hook to keep uh, this uh, turnbuckle in place and the turnbuckle allows you to tighten the string which is tied from the turnbuckle and goes up into the glass and then there you can see my terribly crude drawing of an arm coming in and just plucking that guitar string and uh, making the cup of water vibrate. So that's the plan. Okay, so here is all the equipment and the materials I believe I'll need for this project. If I add anything during this project, I'll let you know. But I've got a block of pine. I've got a standing knife or cutting knife and some blades. I've got a spirit level, some wire cutters. Got the guitar strings there, famous cups, a felt, a cutting mat, some sheets of white styrene. These are A4 sheets, a threaded turnbuckle, eye hook, and then I've got a pin vise and the little bits for the pin vise. I've got some super glue. So that should be all I need.
Turns out I'm at a bit of an impasse. If you remember back to the beginning of this video, I said the plastic for this cup is really delicate. Michael Lantieri explained to me that when they did this gag, they drilled a hole in the bottom of the cup, they fed the guitar string through, they tied a knot on the other side, and then they tightened the guitar string using the threaded turnbuckle. Now, because the plastic is so weak, it's actually cracking out from the middle when I'm tightening that guitar string. So, um, I've come up with a solution. I found this uh, disc perspex. You can buy these online at various thicknesses. I believe this one is about three millimeters thick, uh, but it lines up perfectly with the bottom of the cup. And essentially what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in this first, feed the guitar string through this, and let the knot rest on this piece of perspex. And I think this will give it the strength it needs for me to tighten the guitar string. I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this cup and it should just sit on top of that very nicely and then I'm going to put some uh, sealant in there to stop any water leaking out. <laughs> So with the contraption fully built, it's time to test the vibrating cup of water for the first time. It would be so cool if we can recreate this 25 years after the original Jurassic Park came out. Yes! I don't believe it! It actually worked! Oh man, this is so cool! So I have to give a massive thank you to Michael Lantieri for being the inspiration for this video and for creating that magical effect back in 1993, adding real tension to the T-Rex's approach. It completely changed the way I felt about dinosaurs and gave me the heebie-jeebies every time I saw that vibrating cup. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, rate, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications and I'll see you in the next video.